What's up, everybody? Aviv Vanna here, Cinecinema founder, and welcome to another episode of Next Level Filmmaker, the show where you send in your work to us. We take a look and tell you what you can do to take it to that next level. Brought to you, of course, by Cinesummit.com. Make sure to head on over there, sign up for the, our next free event, and featuring the one and only Adam Patch, highly sought after, world renowned commercial director. Let's check out a little bit of his work and jump straight in. Dog, I was having nervous breakdowns Like, man, these niggas that much better than me They all, but I still feel possessed as a gunshot So, I represent the first Now let me in my verse right where the horns are like, uh What's up, Adam? We got a good one today. Uh, we got one from Paul today Something that I'm really interested to, uh, to dig into How you doing, man? I'm ready to, ready to look at some videos Okay, so we got we got this guy. Paul sent something in. Okay. Um, this one's very interesting to me because it's uh, it's 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 like a regular kind of video that's trying to push it to like you know to to that commercial level, which I think the kind of stuff that you do. Okay. So I'm I'm really curious to see what you have to say and how we could how we could uh, uh, get there. You know. Okay. So let's check it out and then we'll jump in. Okay, let's check it out. I want a place that will see me as more than just a student. A place that will test my resolve and strengthen my character. I want a school that acknowledges each of our unique stories. A place where my voice is heard. I want to test out every version of myself. And shape the future I've envisioned. I want the freedom to encounter God in new ways whether it's in the structure of a cell or the lines of a painting. I want a community that will challenge me to ask hard questions about my faith and support me while I work out the answers. I'm looking for a place where relationships have deep roots. A place where I'll find friends who aren't afraid to be there through my hardest days. And mentors who help me arrive at some of my proudest moments. I'm looking for a university where I'll pinpoint what I'm good at and what I care about so that I'm empowered to live a meaningful life. I found that here. Okay, so there we go. We took a look at that. Um, I think I think I like the way this guy is uh, is headed. Uh, I, I think he's really on the right track. I think he's getting away from just the regular yeah. kind of stuff. It's actually uh, really interesting. It's really interesting seeing it next to the last video that we did, which is another university video. It's like t the totally the opposite. You know, the other way to, right. to approach this sort of thing. Right, right, right. And we, we, we did a, a one with uh, uh, Andrea, also a university one. And I was mentioning how that one was more of an interview based, right, interview and B-roll type stuff. And this is now somebody exactly what I was saying, where he's pushing the creative and it's not just interviews and B-roll. So um, that his main question without uh, going and reading it verbatim is that he's trying to push it, you know, his, his production, I guess, you know, He's trying to get that cinematic results. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just read it here. I, I work as a videographer in the marketing office at Bethel University, and this is a commercial I shot earlier this year. It's one of my first projects that is meant to have more of a commercial feel to it. A lot of the work we've produced in the past has been more event-style video. So, yeah, looks like he's – yeah, let, let's go through it, and, uh, and, and I'd love to hear your input on this because this is the kind of stuff where I feel – I feel a lot of people are at meaning they 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 know they got to try to push it. They want mm -hmm. they see your kind of work mm -hmm. and they want to get there, and then this is the result they get. And they know something's, some, they're not there yet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So let's go through it and hear, okay. and hear what you have to say about okay. it. Okay. Um, well, f first of all, I mean, I think I think Paul did a really good job. It's like a, it's a solid video. I think it looks really good. Um, I mean, there's definitely some stuff to improve on, but I mean, I think. It, if this is your first like first dip into trying to do more of a commercial thing, I think, man, great, great work. Um, right. I was thinking the same thing. This yeah. is your first shot at it. You beat, you beat me totally. <laughs> for the first shot. Yeah. Sure. Right. Um, yeah. So, uh, okay. So 
I think a lot of it, Paul mentioned this in his note, a lot of it, like a lot of this type of thing is cinematography. You know, it's like, it's just about trying to make these shots as like beautiful and compelling and, you know, interesting as possible. And I think for the most part, he did a really good job. The, the first, the first and biggest thing that stood out to me was color. Like it felt like, uh, this was like uncolored or not, you know, not pushed as far as polished as it needs, to, as it needs to slash could be. I think, uh, obviously you don't have the budget for this, but if you just sent this to like a pro colorist and you got it back, you'd be like, holy shit, like this is like a, this is a Nike ad or something like there's the footage in here is not different, not that different from some of the top level stuff you're seeing it, some of it. Um, Interesting. So Before think, you go into that, I'm yeah. really curious because maybe you know this answer numbers. You don't have any idea how much something like that would cost for, for like a color at a color house. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, grand cup. Yeah. I don't know. Like if you pull a favor, that's acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's not unreasonable if, you, if, if you're investing in yourself to uh, one totally. to two grand to get, to make something night and day better. Okay. Wow. I'm yeah. going to look into that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it would go a long way on this, especially cause, um, you know, it's all natural light and, or, or, you know, most natural light. And like a lot of it is like these shitty fluorescent lights in the school. This shot, I mean, this shot I love right here, you know, like this shot with some like color would be killer. Um, mm. you know, mm. the same with the, the, um, these these football guys here, like you know this this sort of thing, I could I really feel a color palette already emerging from here, like really pushing that in the color will go a long way. Um, <clears throat> I guess uh, an an overall note, like I guess some of these things uh, time time of day and like using natural light a little bit differently could have been helpful. Like this, you know, doing this football shot more early morning or getting some like you know really cool backlight or something. Um, would have been interesting, like the, you know, these kids walking up. This isn't this is not bad lighting, natural lighting right here. But um, you know, again, maybe there's another time of day where you could feel it could you know elevate it a little bit more. Um, I think. Uh, let's see. Um, t the audio I thought was pretty good. Uh, this con this like this idea of this concept could fall apart really easily. Um, uh, of hearing all these different voices. I think he did a really good job of, of like capturing them in the same, generally the same, like it felt like they were all recorded at the same level. It wasn't like, you know, you went to one person's dorm room and recorded something and went somewhere else. It like kind of felt the same quality. There was a little bit of like variety in it, which I think that could be something that could be either polished out in post or, um, I guess, I guess more than that, it's not actually in post, but it's more the performances. Um, there was one part I'm going to play it cause uh, it felt like a VO artist jumped in the booth and it just like, it was perfect. And I kind of wish that that is right here. The woman who's speaking here. Whether it's in the structure of a cell. Whether it's in a structure of a cell. Hang on, right before that. Counter God in new ways. Whether it's in the structure I mean, of a cell. that's one line, so take it for what it's yeah. worth but the the vibe of that like energy that's coming through that part felt perfect to me i was like holy shit that's like that's nailing it and then the next person is like whether it's in the structure of a still cell, pretty good or the lines of a painting i want a community that will starting to fall off a little bit hard questions about my faith this one totally and fell off me while I work I, out this person answers. felt like I, now all of a sudden she's uh you know I'm feeling, she's feeling very self-conscious. I can feel her reading this page, reading the words off the page. So uh, from a directing standpoint, this is a place where I feel like you could work on some performance from some voice acting performance. That's where a lot of the, the, uh, the directing is coming, coming from here. What, what, what can he do as somebody who's, uh, again, I'm guessing this is like, you know, low budget and, and whatnot. These aren't professional actors, etc. cetera. Should, this is something that I keep coming back to. Should he have not went this route because he doesn't have the budget to execute it at the level that he was trying to get to? Like, in other words, he's about to – he's got the next project ahead of himself, and he wants to get to the, to the level that he's, that he's aiming for. And if he does this route again, yeah. he's going to get this results again because – I think these results are totally yeah. acceptable and, and good. I, th I don't think he took off more than he could chew here. The the stuff I'm the 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 notes that I'm giving so far are like are the things to take it to the next level. It's not like man, this is you struck out. You really got to should have rethought the whole concept or whatever. Like I think these are these are these are small things like <coughs> ask a favor from a colorist and like spend more time with each talent doing the voice recording. Those those things don't cost any more money. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So you. So so let's let let let's hone in on that first one. 
more time with each person? What is, uh, explain to me. Well, what is he trying to get at in that? What is he trying okay, to get so at? So if you're re recording these people, um, you know, some people are, as all people, some people are going to be more natural and more compelling or whatever. They're going to feel like better talent. Uh, at a certain point, maybe you say this person shouldn't make the cut and just use somebody else. Or you just got to work with them and get them to read it more. And you just read it and read it. Like um, I've found that uh, sometimes it's just doing more and more takes. You get out of your head more. So like that's one way to do it. Like that's the David Fincher approach. Why he does 99 takes is by the 99th take, you're not thinking about the words at all anymore. You're just, they're just so <laughs> natural because they, they're so ingrained in you. So, um, uh, so doing that with voice could work too. The other thing is like, I'm curious how he went about recording it. Like, I wonder if he went and said, okay, this is your line and you're just doing that. It felt a little fragmented to that sense. I, what, what I'm getting at is I wonder you go in and you have him, them read more of a full sentence, maybe the whole script or maybe just a chunk of it. And then you could pick and choose which pieces, like maybe this, this person who kind of flubbed this line really nailed this part and you can kind of shuffle them around. It doesn't have to be like, Hey, this, your line is uh, this six words. Right. So I'm, I'm guessing, and I could be way off here is that I want, you know, he w he had to have this person do this because that's the person who works in this department or whatever you know what I mean like that's the level we're talking about right it's not like okay you you you'll be good in, as an actor I think he was stuck with this guy because he's the actor you know what I mean um, which is back to what I was saying of is this the right approach if he's trying to get that because he's not he doesn't he, he doesn't have control over over so many aspects yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, I think so. I mean, I'm just throwing out some other suggestions of ways to get there, but like ultimately yeah, if you yeah. get there and like, this is the person you have to record, then just spend more time with them and do, you know, you, this is something you'll gain with experience. Obviously, the more you do it, the, the better you get at it. But as, as just, uh, getting a better performance out of voice acting basically. Um, yeah. and sometimes that's like, sometimes that's literally giving them a read. Like you read it the way that it should be. You're, you're imagining it being read and ask them to repeat it and, you know, parrot it back to you. So that's one way to do it. The other way you could also be like, um, okay, just bring, you know, bring down your energy here. I feel like you're feeling too chipper. I want you to like make this feel a little bit like, you know, just giving direction as you would give to any actor, uh, make this feel more internal. This is a really important moment for you. This isn't just about, uh, you know, this isn't just about you standing up in front of your class. This is, you know, like getting them in a headspace. Um, maybe playing the music for them, maybe playing the song and they can kind of get in the vibe that way. So those are some things you could do um, to just kind of set the tone and get, get out of it what you want. And again, overall, I don't think none of it like totally fell apart where I was like, Oh God, this is like terrible. These are all just like, if I'm getting nitpicky on the, the things that make this feel like a little bit off, it's the voice uh, acting in parts of it was some, was part okay. Of that. Okay. Okay. I'm really curious. I know I'm, I'm kind of maybe uh, uh, guiding you around a little bit, but the intro, just the first shot, that slow motion kind of, it felt like it wanted to be really like cinematic, but didn't quite yeah. nail it. It's didn't good, quite do it. It's a good, it's <laughs> right? a good call. Out. This is a, this is a production design uh, problem, I think. This is that's my take on it. So, well, and, and wardrobe. To me, this this uh, the art direction and of like the wardrobe and what they're wearing here is distracting. This girl's jacket is super distracting. If 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 I was on a commercial shoot, this would never ever like that would never be shot. Um, just like okay, you know, break that down. Why not? What's distracting about it? What, well, what? it's one. I mean, one. It is a brand, obviously. Uh, so. I mean, you wouldn't, well, there's no reason to showcase a brand in the first shot of your video. That's not about that brand. Um, okay. Two, it's the only piece of text on the screen. So immediately your eye goes there because that's just natural is that you want to read stuff. So your eyes just drawn to it. Um, okay. And then just like the, the symmetry of the shot is pretty cool, but I also like these two people are kind of matchy for some reason. And this girl's just like in a black hoodie. It just feels like a weird combo. I would have split them. Like I would have dressed them differently. This person, I, you know, I like this guy's denim thing. I would have put her in something different. I would have put her in something different just to like make, make the composition more pleasing. Um, where they're walking is okay. You feel a little bit of the school, but I feel like if this is supposed to be like the intro shot, like maybe this is like them walking up the stairs or the, the actual like framing of like the, what that scene is could be a little bit more uh, thought out or, um, or purposeful. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't, and I also don't hate it. Like I said, I mean, there's nice lighting on the background. It's okay. This car over here is again, a little distracting. Like I probably would have picked a, you know, maybe pulled back a little further. So this car wasn't so in the foreground. <clears throat> um, interesting so so you're saying this is your opening shot 
Let's spend some time on on wardrobe. That's a big one. I didn't even wouldn't even realize that until you said it, which is so obvious now, of course. Uh, and uh, and and yeah, maybe a little bit more of a cinematic location. You know, with more geometry in in mm-hmm. in, 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 the, in, in whatever, right? Yeah, totally. Um, and and something to keep in mind is that I don't know. Uh, you know, when Paul went into this, if this was always the opening shot of the video, like he probably shot a bunch of stuff. This probably wasn't on his mind as the opening shot. But my point there right. is that. Every shot, you should be thinking about those type of things, not like, oh, man, this is the opening shot of the video. What do we, we got to make sure they're wearing the right thing. Like every shot at a certain level, you get more, as you get more experience, you want to be thinking about those type of things in every frame. So I don't care what shot this is in the video. I would have been thinking about all those. Like I wouldn't, you know, I would have changed the wardrobe. I would have changed, you know, all those things should have been happening regardless of what it was. Now, along those lines, I'm guessing if this was your video in the exact same, every, you know, concept, same and everything, you would have known exactly what your opening shot, what you wanted it to be, right? I'm guessing you're not going to go through the footage and looking for an opening shot. Am I right true. or wrong? That's probably that's true. And I th- and I th- I would guess that Paul probably did the same because it cuts so nicely to this uh, football shot next with their their backs running away from us. I can't imagine that was a total coincidence. Um, if it was, happy accident. If it wasn't, great yeah. job, good planning. I think this, it's an awesome. I, I love this transition. It's a good way to like you know. Um, yeah. it's, it's a great match cut. It just, you know, bring it starts to, you know, the whole thing is being strung together really nicely. It's opens with the students establishing the school. We get into the sports, the next shot, more sports. That's, there's a natural transition there. Um, you know, then we get into academics. So it's like, you know, just in the first five shots, it's like doing a pretty good job of like showing a, a variety. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let's let's go through a little bit more of the video and see if there's anything else that you pick out that you okay. can. Though that's a big one. I love that that first opening shot, wardrobe, production design, things that I think a lot of us uh, are we're, we're just going with flow, whatever it is, yeah. whatever we get handed. You know, mm-hmm. that's what we deal with. Um, yeah, it just but that's a lot of effort. I mean, think about it. If he if he knew that that was going to be his his opening shot, and he's got these three people, and they're all volunteering. I'm guessing, you know, yeah. I don't think he's got 100 paid actors, right? Totally. So now he's got to go through their wardrobe one by one and make it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, but maybe you don't. I mean, maybe you don't. Like, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't always have to be. The solution in my book, if you're this is like a huge production, is like, hey, send that girl back to the stylist and have him come out with a different shirt that's not blue. But that's not, you know, that's not the case here. But th- I mean, that doesn't have to be like that. Like, she, what is she wearing under that black hoodie? Does she, a friend have a something that she could borrow? Could she turn the hoodie inside out so it's just solid black instead of the logos? Like, those are three things that could happen just immediately on set. Um, right. Also, worst case scenario, maybe they split. Maybe they uh, split so that the two blue people aren't standing right next to each other. So it's blue, black, blue. Maybe that would be more pleasing. So those are, you know, whatever. Right. I'm just off the top of my head. Right. But yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Okay, cool. So, so going through it, uh, I think, um, you know, I, I really like these personal moments. I, th- I think there's pretty good performances and natural stuff happening here. Um, this felt a little like, I felt a little like in your face with it. Like I felt, they felt a little self-conscious and staged about it. Like for me, this is on a wide lens up pretty close. Um, for me, for this type of stuff with non-actors, sometimes it helps to get away from them a little bit, you know, back off so that you don't, they don't, you don't feel like up in their grill. So for this, maybe I would have backed off, gone on a longer lens so that they could feel a little bit more natural and not so self-conscious that you're like right in their face with a camera. Um, uh, you know, these girls are great. I love them. This stuff, beautiful, you know, there's some beautiful stuff in here. I really like this. Um, you know, lighting in here is this, the lighting on the shot kind of bummed me out. It feels, you know, she's obviously being keyed from, from the, the camera side, which is generally not best. It feels like, I don't know what, you know, it, so if, if the, uh, if the auditorium was shaped like this, you know, it shapes like this and the lights coming from the right side, you probably want to shoot on the far side. So maybe if, she, you know, the person who was in her position, but on the other side of the room might've been a better candidate for the light in there, just judging from this, from this frame. Yeah. This stuff's great. I love, you know, it feels it's so dramatic and moody. I love it. It's great. Like I said, I already really like this frame. Um, all this stuff's great. Uh, so, yeah. Budget not being an issue. Yeah. Which is never the case. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, sticking with this concept. Could, could you have knocked out this the same concept to that really high level? Not, you know, there's, 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 the, there's the concept level, which maybe needs to change. And then there's the production value stuff. So I, I'm getting from you that I haven't heard anything really on the concept yet. Like, if, you know, like it needs to change. Like, yeah. 
again, I don't, I like the concept. I mean, I think it's, it's a, it's, it's a good script. I, I need to, I would need to watch it again to like really take in the full message. But from my first viewing of it, which is what most people will see it, it seemed like a good concept. It felt like I liked the fact that it was, um, <laughs> this is coming from a totally like, uh, atheist point of view but like i like the fact that like the god part is introduced like naturally like middle midway this is obviously like a religious school but the fact that it wasn't like the opening shot is like you know kind of preachy already yeah. like i like that that yeah that just felt like part of it you know um yeah 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 that's got nothing to do with atheism. i think that's like in general you don't want to like knock somebody off sure, right i mean sure. that's your point yeah right? well yeah but i mean if it was a med school and you start off with like medical stuff obviously that makes sense but yeah like the fact that um meaning the my, my point is the, the hard pitch doesn't have to come right up front. Totally. And I love, you know, the opening line of like, I want to be, a, I want a place where I can be more than just like a student or whatever. Like, I think that's a great intro into it. And it's a good, uh, yeah, it, I, th I think the concept's great. And I love like, you know, the slice of life, seeing these different people in different places, all sorts of things from a conceptual standpoint. I think this is, um, this is really nice. Uh, you know, obviously well, ending with a graduation solid. Um, my I actually really love this, uh, I don't know what this is, Paul. I'm curious what this this little like wipe on the lens is. If that's like actually just a foreground of somebody walk, walk, walking, or if that's something you added. But I that's a sweet out. I think that was a really good move. Like a, it's nice. not a hard cut to black, but something really. Um, I felt I feel like there could be some cool production. Um, sorry, some sound design to plus that up a little bit. You know, like there's a rumble, there's like a swell that's happening in a hard cut off right there. It's already doing it with mm -hmm. the music, but maybe it could be enhanced a little bit. Um, my biggest critique is this: is this really a uh, headshot? Um, and then, oh I wow, I can't believe I, I got to stop you real quick. I know you before you dig into it. Okay, something about this whole video uh, stayed amateur for me, and I didn't know what it was. And I think that's it. <laughs> I think what I think I think like like it it was doing something, and then the stamp of like amateur hour came in at the end. You know what the crazy, I didn't realize what it is until you're now pointing yeah, out. <laughs> the craziest, the craziest part to me is that I don't know if what, I don't know if this was like an accident in the file that you sent us or, or what, but like after the whole thing, it dips to black and then there's this awesome drone shot showing the whole thing. Why is that not the end card? Like that mm, should be, you know, the title card should be here. You do this huge build up. The end is this huge, magnificent aerial shot with the school logo. There's no reason you need to see like eight students standing in, a, you know, in a um, right. overcast day in the empty courtyard. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. I, I was actually going to ignore the, in this in this whole discussion that end drone shot because I just thought it was a mistake. I did, too. Uh, but but it made but it made me realize he had that footage. It feels like a mistake right now. So that is that's that's applicable feedback, I think. But uh yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. if it's supposed to be doing something at the end here, it's not. Uh, but um, right. yeah, now that I see that footage and I know that we have something like that at, in, in, you know, in the can, totally use that as yeah. a end shot. Right, 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 right. So I'll tell you, if, if I had made this piece, mm -hmm. I would have been proud of myself. Yeah. But I would have, I still would have had that like, oh man, I'm just, I just can't, I'm not there. I'm mm -hmm. not there. Um, so... But I'm hearing from you that it's not a, a few tweaks and it could be there or yeah, it's getting I, I, there's closer, so, but it's never really going to be there until you, I don't know, until you have some big money. I don't know. Am I wrong? Yeah, I don't, uh, a few tweaks that could be there. Again, it's, um, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to judge this for what it is. Like this is like, if this was a TV spot for Bethel, then yeah, you got a lot, you, there's still a little bit of work to do. You know what I mean? But I'm assuming this is like. You know, it's a minute and a half long. It's probably on their homepage. You know, it's like a homepage type video. So um, I think for what it's, the purpose of it, the, we have to take into the con that context of that. I think it's doing a really good job. There's some stuff to do to polish it up. But uh, I think it's, you know, if I went into this again, you know, if I went into it and we had money to do it or there's things to elevate it, like you, for, for me, you could, um, some of the, you know, some of the compositions you could just, it could just be shot a little bit differently. Like, you know, this, the, her, this girl's dorm room is an art directed very beautifully. Some of the lighting, you know, it's all natural lighting, obviously. So, so turning off some of those natural shitty overhead lighting and, you know, bringing in your own lights is a way to elevate it a little bit. Um, uh, I do kind of wish this is a thing that just came up. I kind of wish this girl felt a little disconnected from me. I didn't really, I felt like I wish you. I don't know. I go back and forth. 
do we need to see what she's doing? Just felt, felt a little contrived. Like she's just doing like her homework in a dock or something. I don't know. Um, sorry, I'm kind of all over the place on that one. Uh, so yeah. So to answer your question, I think this is really great for, for what it is. If you want to really step it up, I think it's just putting, putting some, uh, you know, more, um, love into some of the, into some of the visuals and to some of those like, you know, fine details. Got it. So he's really, so he's really on the right track here. I mean, uh, 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 a little more budget to maybe have a DP with you throughout all these shots, mm -hmm. you know, to, I mean, you know, when I say DP, I mean, somebody that's highly qualified and with, uh, and with the gear to, yeah. To yeah. Light. And, and I'm just going to get nitpicky on the frames for a second, but I mean, th this is the type of like, it's this level of scrutiny that you would, you kind of go into when you're at that level, which is like, you know, again, like this, this girl's room is just bit, like, this is just a weird setting. I don't really like the look in here. Like it feels depressing. Right. This one bothered me a lot. This one this bothered was very me a lot. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, maybe picking a different shooting in a different place, bringing in some stuff to just like art directed a little, so it feels a little nicer, lighting it, a you know, a little bit differently. These, these women sitting at the park bench here, um, you know, the composition here bugs me. Like, I don't understand why all this negative space. And then there's like this close up where you, all you see is the sticker of like the, you know, Starbucks in the foreground right here. Um, right. you know, and why are there no other students anywhere? What is this big black thing behind her? These are the type of things like when I'm scouting and I'm looking for a park fence to shoot, I would be like, I don't love this. I don't like this black thing over her head. It feels heavy and weird. Um, come around the shoulder, like cheat it out a little bit more. So you're feeling more of the, you know, you're feeling more of like out looking out into the school more. And then let's put like a few extras back there walking through with backpacks on or whatever to make it feel more alive. So like, you know, that's the level, like if you're going to take it to the next level, that's the type of like um, detail you right. want to get into. Now let's be real before, because this is the part that really bugs me. If he wants to get this at that level, that's a, it's, what are we talking? How many characters were here? How many things were they doing? How many locations? How many, you know, this is a lot. This is a lot, it's right? A lot. I mean, you're not, he's not going to knock this out on his own. And that's probably why half of these were like, this is because, sure. you know, budget and he's running around, he's trying to do this quickly and whatnot. And okay, we got this bench and let's go. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I mean? So not easy, right? No, not at all. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's not, um, uh, but it's, it is what it is, so I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I just want to make sure people understand the uh, the level of, um, uh, you know, effort is necessary to get these results that we all are trying to get. I yeah. Mean, that it, park bench is just gonna, isn't just going to work unless you go and scout a bunch and yeah, find the right park yeah, bench. Yeah, 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 right. But I also think it's important to, like, that's the thing you do to level up. But I also, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't encourage Paul to be like, Hey, next time don't shoot this many locations and don't do this stuff because you totally failed. And it's like, you're, it's, you're dropping the ball because that's not the case. Like it's, it's good. I'm giving the suggestions of how to make it great. <laughs> Paul. Nice job. You did Paul. good, man. Yeah. You did real good. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next ones. Cause I think he's, uh, he's on the right track. Yeah. Definitely. Thanks, Adam. Especially if that was cool. your first video, man. Nice, nice work. Impressive. Impressive. All right. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, man. So I hope you liked that. Make sure to check out every single episode. Subscribe. Hit the bell button so you don't miss any one of them. And I'll see you on the next episode. Make sure to be signed up for CineSummit.com. I'll see you on those events as well. Take it easy.